Farmers have spent this spring trying to dodge the rain, but it's keeping one crop growing quickly. Jenna Webster explains how warmer temperatures this winter made it both the latest and earliest harvest season for one Davenport operation. It's part of your Ag Impact coverage on News 8 at 6. If you ever get overwhelmed by mowing your own grass, try having nearly 650 acres of it. The worst part is I absolutely neglect my yard at home. That's the, that's the most embarrassing part, right? I do this all day long. Keaton Fry is the vice president of Seven City Sod. Just one of several generations in his family to make a career of watching grass grow. Oh, who doesn't want to be outside and play with tractors all day? His grandfather planted their first plot of grass back in the late 60s. You know, we, we, this used to be a three-man process uh, with our old harvesters. Now it's the second largest sod operation in Iowa. It's all robotic, arms, GPS driven, no hands on the wheels. I'm, I'm able to just kind of monitor and uh, make sure we're, we're cutting the best product that we can. This Kentucky bluegrass is 18 months old, now being harvested for the new homes built by North Scott students. So this year was a little different. We were able to start harvesting the earliest we've ever uh, started in our history. Historically, harvest time begins in April. Instead, it was in March. And lots of spring rain is keeping the sod growing quickly. I've heard from a ton of people this year, consumers that, you know, Oh my gosh, what do I do? I, I can't keep up on mowing, this, that, and the other. And it's uh, that's a nice problem to have as opposed to not having enough water. Last year was a, a huge anomaly with the, with the drought and having to be in irrigated fields earlier and longer than normal. That's not to say last year was a bad year for sod. Brian and his team were harvesting up until Christmas, about a month longer than normal. And we ended up just shutting it down just because we were worried about that we were cutting too deep into our 2024 acres. Managing acres doesn't stop there. Seven Cities expects another big harvest year. It's uh, the joy of our life, right? A seed planted decades ago that just keeps on sprouting. In Davenport, Jenna Webster, WQAD News 8. And Seven Cities supplies the sod for new home construction in the Quad Cities, but you might recognize their grass somewhere else, too. Back in 1988, they grew the sod used in the iconic film Field of Dreams.